insert a bar chart. So now we have now we have p of x uh, 2000 or 1920 verse p of x uh, 2022 something like that and then i'll pull this on over here and let's also pull in the 2022 i need the x's so i'm going to pick up the x's too so we're going to say don't pick up the x's it's not a good idea it's not a good we have to we have to do it we're going to go in here we need our own x's it's better than just having random x's be given it's either we pick them up or we get random x's okay so there we have it and then so now we're going to select the data and go into uh, chart design select the data and i can put on top of it i'm going to add another data set and say this is going to be the second p of x uh, or let's call it this one let's just name it p of x 2022 and then i'm going to pick this data is going to be this range p of x 2022 boom and okay so now you can see the the two if we if we approximate a bell curve on the two you can see they're slightly you know this this they're slightly skewed the shape of the bell curve let's let's add a legend here legend uh hold on i thought i changed the name this orange one oh my data so this one let's edit this and this is 1920 so let's just call it 1920 okay so the legend and then this one let's call it edit let's make that one 2022 and okay okay so now we can see that the shapes of these on top of each other and see that it's kind of skewed and then uh this one obviously more peaked in uh 2022 and we can see the differences over here in our mean is 24 versus 22 so those middle points you would think would be 24 versus the 22 so we can see kind of the the relative data here now when we look at the z scores remember we're thinking about the z scores are relative to the middle point of of their of their distribution which we have these two different kind of bell curves based on the two different time frames so we have that and then we could do a comparison of uh like the percent of of the total versus the percent of the total uh, over here but let's let's keep it at that for for now and and just note then when you do some of these comparisons then sometimes the z-score becomes relevant because when you're trying to compare one year versus another year you might be saying well uh you know if i if i if i looked at something uh down here and we had we had a player that had like a 30 a 30 percent right a batting average in 1920 and we looked at their z-score which is this column and so it's at it's at uh, 0.79 up above that average point and if i go over here the 30 percent if we look at uh, the z-score is 1.27 above and so if i just look at those two numbers you can say well they're both at that 30 but but if i compare it to what was happening relative uh this one over here in 2022 is a lot higher up you know it's a, it's further away from that middle point the average of the times so you would expect you know that would that would be a differentiating factor possibly even though you're looking at the same percentages remember that the general idea of the statistics oftentimes is that i can't look at just how many at bats they have or how many times they got on base because they're going to have different at bats that's why we make the percent so, so the percent already kind of evens things out a bit but it's still not going to be 
uh, give us a, we might be, want to have more questions about who's the better player and what time frame and whatnot. And the argument, of course, is going to be, yeah, but and the things were a lot different in, in 1920 than 2022. So let's see how well that percentage was compared to the, the middle point, the average, the Z-score, right? And that would be another, another factor that you can kind of put into play. Let's go ahead and add some formatting here. So I'm going to select all of my data uh, here up top. I'm just going to make it blue, home tab, font group, bucket. If you don't have that blue, it's in the more colors. There it is, the blue. And I like to put some borders around it. If I may, I'm going to do that here too. You may, no one's going to stop you. Home tab, font group, border blue. Border blue, or at least I don't think anyone's going to stop you. I won't stop you. You can make it a different color if you want. I won't stop you from doing that either. It's a free, it's a free country, man. It's a free country. Well, at least it used to be. Border blue. I wouldn't be surprised if someone stopped you now. The King of England probably come in here and try to tell you what color you should make your chart. Home tap, font group, border blue. And then, and then we'll say this one. Home tab, font group, border blue. And then this one, Uno Vase Moss. One more time. Control shift down. Home tab, font group, border blue. I'll make my table however I want to make my table. If it has only two legs on it and falls over every time I put something on it, that's how I want it. That's how I made it. That's how it's going to be. Okay? That's how it's going to be. This is going to be center across. Let's make it home tab, font group, and orange. And let's pull our graphs over here so we have all our pictures so we can see them. We need to have our, it's not enough just to have your pictures, your special pictures. You have to have them ready so that people can look at them. You can show them off when at like parties and stuff. So then, so there they are. Let's go into the review and I'm not, oh, now it's gonna, I can't spell check it because it has all the names. Let's try to highlight all of this stuff and just spell check it over here. See if I misspelled, I fixed my spelling. Spell check frequency, I knew it. That wasn't actual. Okay, we can make some skinnies. Let's, these can be skinnier. Mr. T, you're still not skinny enough. I know you lost some weight, but still. All right, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. 